Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my December monthly favorites and I honestly can't believe that it's already December. So last month I did not do any monthly favorites so this month I thought I'd just go ahead and get them done early in the month. But before I get into my monthly favorites, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram. So for this month's favorites, I have a variety of things, some beauty things, some fashion kind of things, some miscellaneous things. Um, I'm not really sure where to start, so I will just start out with the thing that's in front of me, my Snoopy little house slippers. Funny story, random story that I'm just gonna share right now. It recently finally got cold enough here in Texas to turn on the heater and I had my asthma triggered really really badly this past Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Finally figured out the thing that was causing it was the heater being on so I had to turn the heater off completely because that was triggering my asthma and I had not felt that bad in months, had to use all my asthma inhalers and whatnot so we haven't had heat on because we are trying to get the air vents clean. But anyways, in the meantime to kind of keep warm without the heater, I've been using my Snoopy slippers and I love these, they're very soft on the inside, fuzzy, they're not the kind that you can take outside. But I love them and I love that they have a little astronaut Snoopy. They remind me of my dearly beloved beagle that passed away a few months ago, Snoopy. But anyways, I love these. The next item is a sleeping mask. So, kind of random. But this one's cute. It just has little stars and then these like eyelashes, eyes, I don't know. It looks like your eyes are closed. Anyways, I was recommended to get and wear an eye mask when I go to sleep because apparently I don't close my eyes when I go to sleep. Uh, my eye doctor was able to tell that I don't do this because the bottom of my eyes is very dry. And uh, she told me that it's probably because when I go to sleep I kind of leave my eyes a little open. So this kind of makes my eyes close all the way so that I don't have my eyes super super dry which is amazing. Kind of going along with eye stuff, I also <laughs> got told that I need glasses, nighttime glasses, which are a thing. I did not know that. So for the longest time, probably a few years, I avoid driving at night because I feel like I can't see. Well apparently I really couldn't see and I got told to get some prescription driving night glasses so I got some and they are these really cute little glasses. I wear them at night. I wear them when it gets dark which is happening earlier and earlier during the day so I've been wearing them more and more so the sun's probably going to go down in like an hour or two so I will put them on and they really really make a big difference in me being able to read stuff being able to see the TV and if I'm outside I can actually see and these are actually a pair of sunglasses that I had made into regular glasses because I really like oversized frames and I couldn't find a pair of regular glasses that I liked so I found some sunglasses I liked and they were able to make them for me. And they're just a simple black frame with some gold accents. I've been loving them, not just this month, but especially this month because it's been getting dark really, really early, which I'm not a fan of because I miss the sun. And if you have seasonal effectiveness disorder like I do, it really does suck to not have the sun around. Let's move on to beauty stuff. The first item in the beauty category is a lipstick. It's actually the one I'm wearing today. So it's a dark brownish nude. It's by the brand, if it will focus, Palladio. And it's in the shade Regal Cafe. And it's a matte. I love Palladio lipsticks. They're very matte, very pigmented, and 
not too drying. My ultimate hands down favorite color is Royal Rum, but this one's more brownish color. So if you like like a 90s kind of shade, this is really a nice color. And I love it. I hadn't tried a different shade in a long time since I love my go-to, but I tried this one and I love it, especially right now in the fall. It's very neutral and has a 90s aesthetic that I like. Second makeup thing, I'm actually wearing, again, I don't know if you can see, probably not, but my eyeliner is blue and it is the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade sapphire so it's a really pretty beautiful kind of mid-tone blue it i got it because it kind of matched my hair and i love blue eyeliner and this one's really really nice it's waterproof smudge proof it is it is a little drying on my eyelids uh, i have i have dry skin so if you have normal skin or oily skin this is really good for me I feel like I love wearing it but I can feel it on my eyes if that makes sense like it, it dries down really matte so it kind of feels like one of those liquid lipsticks how you kind of feel them dry on your mouth but I feel it on my eyelids so don't love that but I do love how long it lasts beauty sh slash hair care is this I don't really know what this is. It's called liquid tape for nails. So it has a little picture on the box of what it kind of does, if it will focus. Okay, so basically what you do is you paint around your nail so that it will keep it clean. Like you won't have nail polish on your skin. If you're like me, I love to paint my nails, but I am awful at it. And if you wanna do something fun, like an ombre, like in the picture, you put this around your nails and it comes in this cute little packaging. It's called Mess No More. Yeah, Mess No More by Manny Lou. And it's this pink little tube. It has like these little crystal-y thingies. Anyways, you open it and it kind of looks like a, oh God, let's open it carefully. It kind of looks like a weird lip gloss and you take the applicator and paint around your fingernail where you don't want nail polish let it dry paint your nails you don't really worry about it getting anywhere once they're dry you pull up this stuff it comes up kind of like a uh, dried glue so then you peel it off and your nails are super clean and pretty and it looks like you are very good at painting your nails and it saves a lot of time at least for me because i've been painting my nails a lot so, as I said in the last video, I recently changed my hair color, which means I had to bleach it and damage it quite a bit. So, in order to keep my hair's integrity as much as possible and prevent it from breaking off and just a whole bunch of stuff that can go wrong when you bleach your hair, what I use is the Ion Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1. It's basically like a dupe of the Olaplex number one or whatever number it is. The one that you put in with your bleach and developer mixer. So I usually put the whole thing. I do two batches because I usually take two batches to get all my roots bleached. So I put half and then I put the other half. And this kind of makes your developer lower to a half or a whole step down so if you're using a 40 like me it will go down to a 35 or a 30 depending on how much you use so kind of keep that in mind but i feel like it really really helps my scalp feel like it's not burning and just helps my hair feel less awful after i'm done bleaching and then sometimes you that's not enough to protect your hair and that is what happened this time when I changed my hair color and when that happens and your hair is like stringy and spongy and dry and just horrible so when that happens my go-to product for many many years has been the Apogee two-step protein treatment so this comes usually with a, another step it's 
kind of gross and disgusting so I apologize because I used it last week but you're supposed to use something afterward I don't use it because I use my own conditioning mask but anyways what this does is it repairs the protein that has been removed from bleach and it really 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 works really good if you follow the steps exactly how it says here so you wash your hair you dry it off a little bit and then you put this stuff in your hair it is i don't know if you can hear very liquidy very sticky kind of smelly so you put it on it's very liquidy so you have to comb it through to make sure you get it all over your hair fully saturated everywhere then if you have one of those hooded dryers you can just sit underneath it with medium high heat if you don't like most people i just get the blow dryer and very gently blow dry my hair very gently medium high heat and a very low wind speed or not super i don't know how to explain but hopefully you follow the instructions so what will happen then is your hair will get super super hard like spaghetti pasta hard like don't touch your hair because it will break off at that point once it gets to that point where it's like super dry crispy and looks like it's gonna break off you rinse it off and you just condition as normal or you condition with the deep condition and your hair will feel like it did before you bleached it i I'm, I'm not even kidding i mean my hair still has some of the curl pattern which is amazing especially after how much bleach i put in it so if you ever feel like you have over processed your hair too much i cannot recommend this enough as long as you follow the instructions this will work really good let me take a quick coffee break i don't know if this happens to anybody else but when the sun starts to go down really really early i get really really sad first of all but also very low energy so i find myself drinking more caffeine which i know is not really really good for you but i also love coffee so having some iced coffee my next favorite is something that i actually got as a gift for my birthday a few months ago and let's see if it will focus it's this necklace that has a beagle on it as i mentioned with my first favorite one of my beloved babies passed away a few months ago and he was a beagle and uh my sister-in-law got me this adorable little beagle necklace so i can feel like i have my baby snoopy with me at all times and i love it it's so dainty and beautiful and he used to stand like this so it just it reminds me of him and it makes me feel happy a little sad but mostly happy and i can just wear it all the time but it is uh sterling silver and it's so cute i've been wearing it almost all the time next favorite this one's kind of random but it is this mini tripod i got it when i first got it i was like ew this is not very good because it's not the best for just mounting on but what i found is a really good use for it is for using it to film so my last video when i went to the thrift store i used it to hold my camera to record and it made it so much more stable the video quality the first time i did it i feel like i was really shaky because the camera is heavy at least for my weak hands but this makes it really easy to keep stable and it's just really small so you can just stick it in your bag and it's really good last two favorites this one's kind of a random one but i've been okay sorry there was like a bird over there i've been really enjoying drinking this sleepy time tea it's a caffeine free tea and it really does help if you have insomnia or if you have really bad asthma and allergies like me and you need something to help you be able to fall asleep and it has let's see if it has the it has lavender chamomile spearmint lemongrass and it smells so good i just put some boiling water in a cup with one of these let it steep add a little bit of sweetener and you're good to go and you will fall asleep very 
peacefully and well and my last favorite is a piece of clothing i've been wearing all the time now especially since it's finally cold enough to wear coats and it is my leather jacket blazer coat thing uh, that i thrifted a few months ago it's just amazing and since it is uh real leather it really does keep you nice and insulated so it just it looks so nice i love the color it's so warm it has a lot of room so i can wear a sweater even a sweatshirt and it still fits over and it's so easy when it's cold and you don't really know what to wear to just get your leather coat and just pop it on top of your outfit so this is definitely a favorite and will continue to be a favorite while it's cold so for next week i was thinking of doing a styling my thrifted coats and this will be one of them along with four other coats that i have thrifted and how i like to style them because i mean if you live somewhere where it's cold all the time you probably know exactly what you want to wear when it gets cold but here it's warm one day cold another day and when it gets cold you kind of forget how to put an outfit together at least i do so look out for that next week and yeah that's it that's it for my december monthly favorites thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i know this was kind of a random kind of casual video but i hope you enjoyed watching anyways and i will see you next week with a new video bye